This is the Gazelles, a project that I've spent three months of my life working on. You may ask, why is it called the Gazelle? Well, I hoped it to be named Horse at first, but it became a Gazelle. If you get the joke, it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. <laughs> but it has everything my original idea didn't have. Fuzzy seat, cracked dashboard, exposed wires. This could all be cleaned up, but uh, I've already spent so much time on this, I just want to be done with it. This is all the technical aspects of the bike, so if you don't care about this, you can just skip ahead. I assume most people will, but we got a... We start off at the back of the bike where we have a 2 kilowatt hub motor um, with a 220 millimeter rotor. Um, it's a 72 volt system, which is powered by the battery and the ESC, which are up there, which I'll get to in a minute. But as of right now, um, you have the brake back here, which is a hydraulic brake. The front's mechanical. Um, this bracket is uh, cut out and then welded on to the bike frame here, which <laughs> you may ask, where I, did I get this frame? Um, I chopped a, a GT in half, welded 12 inches onto it with a, a scooter frame from an, a, an old Razor electric scooter. As for the bike's electronics, there's a laser cut wood box up here, which contains an Arduino and a four channel relay module, which interacts with these bus bars I have up there for 12 volt and the ground, which is shared between the 12 volt, 12 volt converter and the ground coming out of the battery or uh, electrical ground negative. Um, as for up here, you have the dashboard, which I engraved that into, and all of the, what the buttons do, so right signal light, left signal light, uh, headlight, um, the 5 volt and the 5 volt toggle, which also toggles the 5 volts for the um, Arduino. So you may ask if anything on this bike is DOT approved, um, well, yeah. The, tur the turn signals are, and you can see the the very authentic verification right there, just painted on the on the turn signals. So got something going for me. Now I'm sure you want to see the long-awaited signal lights in action that I've been hyping up for over two minutes now. If you ever do this, please just go buy signal lights. Just don't do it with an Arduino. You're gonna be you're gonna spend time ripping your hair out and spending two weeks. That should be something that should only take two days. Lastly, for the electrical, there is a headlight in the front, which when I switch on this switch, turns on the headlight and turns it off. That's probably the easiest thing in this whole entire electrical system. The ESC is located in this bag underneath the Razor scooter that I mentioned earlier that's just been ripped apart and <laughs> welded to this monstrosity. And, oh yeah, everything was of the Razor scooter was used, even the handlebars, which are now uh, the foot pegs. I laser cut the acrylic here that holds the 3D printed housings onto uh, where the seat post used to be, which this is also 3D printed. That goes into there and is tightened by the seat post screw. And this acrylic that I laser cut was a was a pain to pain to get here. I spent my time ripping my hair out, just taking the acrylic, putting it in the laser cutter, having it come out not cut too deep. So I tried taking a razor knife, 
couldn't get that cut, and then having the whole thing crack on me to have to do to have to do the whole process again, cutting it three times to make sure that it's definitely gone through, and finally we have the pieces of acrylic for the the back and the the front signal lights. The dashboard was also laser cut, but due to unfortunate user error, the switches didn't align with the frame right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go my bad on that one. Um, the seat was an old shag rug that has kneeboard, a piece of plywood, and then you bolted to the frame of the bike. So that's, that's how this seat came to be. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten a lot of mixed reactions on it. Either you love it or you absolutely hate it. Up to you to decide. As for the motor specs, um, like I said, it was 72 volts, 2 kilowatt, which equates to around 45 miles an hour I've gotten it up to. If I go down hills, I can get it up to around 47, 48. Um, and the acceleration is what I've tested, 0 to 30 in around 3 seconds. So, faster than some cars. <laughs> now, I won't just leave it at spec, so I'll actually go take it for a ride. So, let's go do that. You may ask what that screeching sound was. Well, when I was bleeding the brake lines, um, the oil got on the rotor and the pads. I cleaned it off with uh, brake cleaner, but um, alas, the pads still uh, slip. I have to get that sorted out at some point, but as of right now, it kind of works. I mean, I guess that's the... The, the thing about the whole entire bike, it all kind of works, like, the signal lights kind of work. <laughs> As for where you can get these parts, I'll link them all in the description. Um, most of them are found on Amazon, the brakes, the lights I used, but please, if you're doing this, don't, don't make your own signal lights. Um, yeah, so everything else will be in the description. Um, I will post a riding video of this soon. Um, I just don't have anything other than my phone at the moment to really use to record me riding this, so that's my current dilemma.